talk about an area that I, to be honest with you, I normally don't talk about and don't spend a lot of time on there because I don't think it uh, really impacts my family a whole lot. The other day I was at, uh, at a store and I was just looking for some 22 ammo so that way I could just go ahead and you know have some plinking time with my kids. And it was interesting to me, of course, I didn't have any, which is fine. I mean, I guess it's one of those pieces where it just, uh, you know, you end up having to order it online or whatever. But it just kind of struck me as odd when the gentleman next to me was asking for uh, 45 rounds. And uh, the guy behind the counter goes, do you want those in brass or aluminum? And I uh, just kind of was taken back by that for a second because... You know, anybody that, uh, you know, has been around anybody that reloads or anything like that, you know that if you don't have brass, you're not able to reload it. And I find it very interesting that, you know, years ago they introduced steel uh, casings and you can't reload those. And we kind of accepted that as a norm. But now when I see Winchester, um, I didn't pay attention to see a Federal, but, you know, as I see the big, big ammunition companies in this country switching over, to having your actual uh, jacket as far as the uh, the part that actually holds your powder switching that over to to aluminum it's kind of dawned on me that they're not going to take our guns they're just going to take our ammunition and our ability to go ahead and have ammunition and if you do a little further research because it kind of struck me as a uh, as like I said is really odd so then you know, you start hearing things on the internet and seeing how they're going to start limiting the length of time the powder is good for through a chemical reaction. So that's where it all kind of dawned on me, you know. That for years they've kind of given us steel, steel jacket, or uh, the cartridges as far as so that, you know, we had brass. And now the reason why they're going to start tricking people into getting a lot of the aluminum is I saw the aluminum stuff was priced just a little bit cheaper. And then if you look at the compounding part, maybe it's just a little conspiracy theory or not, but when you see that they're actually looking at, you know, kind of time limiting your gunpowder, it kind of all makes sense to me that they're not going to go ahead and take the guns, because I think it'd be hard to get all the guns, and if you look at Chicago and other places like that where they've outlawed guns, that's really working a lot for them. So like I said, this is an area that I'm not real comfortable normally speaking on, because I really believe in, you know, kind of helping people. And uh, helping them with their with their homestead and kind of uh, joining their families together. This is an area that just kind of struck me as kind of weird the other day. And some of you maybe already seen this, maybe aware of it, but it was news to me. And uh, like I said, I don't watch television. I don't really pay attention to certain other things that happen. But when I saw that, it was just kind of striking that uh, yeah, they're not going to get our guns. They're just going to take away the ammunition. So if I was you, I wouldn't be buying the the uh, aluminum. Take the brush. Talk to you later.